configuring a frame relay switch and about the amount of time it takes you to eat a hot dog. So what is a frame relay switch and why do I care? Well, frame relay is a technology that Cisco commonly uses in their certification programs, meaning CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, uh, because weird things happen with frame relay. Uh, you have multiple neighbors that are connecting through this cloud architecture, and some of them may be connected together through virtual circuits, others may not, and you just gotta really know your stuff to work with a frame relay environment. Also, Cisco knows that frame relay represents all of packet switch networks, from uh, MPLS style networks to ATM to X25. I mean, there's all kinds of technologies represented by frame relay. Cisco has just chosen this as the one. Second reason this is useful is because I know when I studied for my CCIE, I didn't have something like GNS3, and I had a ton of physical equipment, and I was spending all my time studying on recabling the basic stuff I knew how to do, but I had to recable every time I wanted a new topology. So instead, I took all of my routers and connected them to a single frame relay switch uh, in, a, in a rack of equipment. And then just by reconfiguring that frame relay switch, I could say which routers were connected to what without actually physically moving cables around. So let's look at the configuration itself. It's a little weird because normally I'm focused on all of these guys. That's the spokes of the frame relay topology, but this time we're focused on configuring the cloud. These routers are actually, I mean, behind that cloud, what's there? Another router. And these routers are plugged right into it on specific interfaces. Matter of fact, I've created a topology in GNS3 that mirrors exactly what you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, this frame switch looks like a cloud, but it's not really a cloud. All I did was take one of these routers, put it in the middle, and then hit the uh, change symbol and choose the cloud from this list. So it's really a Cisco router behind that cloud. And I can expand this out and see exactly what interfaces are connected to what routers. Now, mind you, I know some of you are thinking, doesn't GNS3 have a frame relay emulator to where you don't have to use a Cisco router? Yes, but real men don't use frame relay emulators. They use real routers. So with that being said, I'm going to go inside of uh, this topology and configure the, the uh, so router. Let's go. Router one is actually connecting to zero, uh, zero slash zero. So first thing that we have to do is go into the router itself and turn on frame relay switching from a global perspective. So I I brought up the console connection to that GNS3 cloud, if you will. Going into global config, and I'm going to do uh, frame relay switching. It's just one command globally that says, you are not a mere router, my friend. You are a frame relay switch. Then we go underneath each and one every, every one of the interfaces. I'll do interface serial 0 slash 0. Now, again, looking at this topology, you got to make sure you get them lined up. So the frame switch, essentially, here. Matt, well, what am I doing? I can just click this magic button and look at this. I've got all these topology labels right here. So I can see exactly what interfaces are going to what router. So I'm going to go serial 0 slash 0. And the first command is going to be frame relay interface type DCE. Now, not all iOS versions require that, but I've been typing that since my infant infancy, and I will never get away from typing that. So that essentially tells the router you are running a, a kind of a service provider style or DCE end of the connection. Now we do the big one, creating our frame relay maps. Frame relay is bizarre because you don't go from a source to a destination. That's not how it works. Frame relay says, okay, when router one wants to send to router two, it's going to send to essentially a destination of 102, fly through the air, and then come out on 201. It's kind of like leaving out of gates of an airport. When router two sends back, it's going to go into 201, fly through the air, and come out on 102. Bizarre. So we need to go into the interface. See, my screen grew because it was so bizar bizarre. And type in frame, frame, if I can type frame relay uh, map. Wait, wait a second. No, frame route. And then we type in what input del C to be used. I'm thinking frame map. That's on the end devices. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm on serial 0 slash 0, which is facing router 1. I'm going to say, okay, when you send me 102, I, as a frame relay switch, am going to send that out interface serial 0 slash 1. Now, that's going to router 2 up there, right? So let's put that on our little diagram here, 0 slash 1. So I'm sending it out serial 0 slash 1, and it'll go out 201 as it goes out there. Same thing on the bottom one, frame relay route. When I see 103, I'm actually going to send it out serial 0 slash 2 on 301. You get this idea. So as it comes in on 103, it's going zoom and flying down here. So I'm just doing this wizardry in the middle saying, when you see this, send it out here. And I'll tell you what, I never really got from real life, really understood it, even from the customer side of the thing, until I saw the configuration of a frame relay switch. Now, all I have to do is do that same thing under the other interfaces. 
And through the miracle of time lapse, that's what I've done. I've gone in under this serial 0 slash 1 interface, typed in frame relay route. I said take 201. So when you see 201 frame switch, send it out serial 0 slash 0. That's the right hand side on 102. Uh, same, you know, and then you can see the same thing on serial 0 slash 2. Now I can go back and do a show frame route and see all of those mappings. So I can see from the service provider perspective, when I'm seeing these coming in, I'm sending them out this interface on this output Delsi. I hope this has been informative for you, that you've enjoyed your hot dog, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.